They're actually still pushing too. Just get their free kill. Pop the dash. Oh, come on, give me a few more. Oh. Is it ace? What the fuck? Cryo is actually on top of the world right now. You can see we're looking at the NA ranked ladder here. And Cryo is sitting at rank 4 and rank 9. And, you know, Cryo, man, he is a demon. He's been playing a little bit more on his Smurf account here. You can see he's got a lot of games on the Smurf. And his win rates, as expected, they're just nuts. 69% on the jet, which is what we're watching. We all love 69%. And yeah, he's just a demon. He also won the Red Bull tournament recently. And 100 Thieves are looking strong, man. And Cryo's a big reason. I feel like he was the piece that they were really missing in their, in their team. So yeah, today we're going to hop in, watch one of the best ranked players in the entire world. One of the best players in the world, to be honest. Never even mind ranked. And yeah, we'll see what we can learn from him. So let's go. All right, so real quick, before we get into it, 85% of you aren't subbed. So if you like watching my content, you want to help me out, please hit the sub button below. And uh, yeah, let's just go. All right, so we're starting out here on the attack of Fracture. And this map, it's starting to become a lot more of a jet map. You can see jet on both teams here because of these chamber nerfs. Phoenix Flash coming out really aggressive here and just going to insta-kill him. And this is the thing about Fracture, man. Especially at these higher levels, like you can tell this is very high rank game. The players, man, they don't give you anything for free. This A main area is honestly one of the most contested areas I've ever seen. And that's the big difference. Like, you'll see a lot of times at these lower elos, they'll just let people come in. They'll just do a breach stun. The attackers will do a breach stun. Instantly, that's it. You know, you just get the whole of A main. In high elo, that doesn't happen. This frenzy almost carrying, by the way. Doesn't happen in high elo, man. People fight for space. And that's the big difference I've found between lower elos and higher elos. This teams understand, especially on Fracture, it's very, very, very aggressive map. You need to be aggressive on defense here. In low elo, people just sit back and they just play default and they let people come in and hope they can kill them all. Don't want to do that. It's not how you win the game. You might win some games that way, but if the enemy are actually somewhat decent, you'll get shit on. Actually gonna buy nothing here. Enemy are running Harbor, by the way. Harbor got some new buffs. Ups the dash, nice. Very rare to see Cryo not buy a uh, Sheriff here. I'm kind of shocked. He didn't get anything done here. 1 HP against a couple Spectres though. It's not looking too good for him. He wins this Okay, I was gonna say something. Okay. I was about to say some dumb shit. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. It's down to a 1v1 now with some amazing crosshair placement. See, you heard the guy tap the orb there. That's how he knew he was on the right. But the breach shot was just pure mechanics. And this is the thing, man. Cryo, I feel like the two, honestly, the two best players in, especially in NA right now for me, is Cryo and EA. Those two players, by far, they're just, their mechanics are on a completely different level to most pro players. And he's just playing it very slow. When you're on 1 HP like this, you really don't want to be stomping around the place. So that's 30 seconds here. Plenty of time to just make some things happen. If you're on 1 HP like this, I'd run with the, I'd run with the Sheriff here. It's too risky to go for a... He's looking out for a Cypher cam, by the way. That's what he's doing. Doesn't see the Cypher cam. I'd assume... There it is. I'd assume he swaps over to the Sheriff now. So you really need that one tap in order to win this one. Actually, doesn't. Stays with the Spectre. You see the things I'm even thinking about here? This is like... Some micro thing, and he just picks him up, gets perfect. Nice. I was, I was actually ready to give up on that round. He doesn't even say anything. He's playing play. I was ready to give up on that round, but he actually managed to pull it out with his fucking arse, man. Literally out of nowhere. He's not even focused on the game here. He's AFK again. Oh, okay. so when you, if you are AFK like that. You, you kind of, like, get a free lurk. I'm gonna stun for you Rock him with the Sheriff now. Cypher is set up with you. If you have a Cypher was B. Nice dash there. And he gets demolished by the Stinger, man. The Stinger is broken right now. You want to win games? Keep buying the Stinger over and over again. It is so, so unbalanced. Okay, you got him. Okay, let me flash you. One enemy remaining. 
And his team looked like they're just gonna. I was like screaming, getting hyped. And then, you know, yeah, he realized his mic was muted. I was wondering why he was so quiet. He's usually a bit louder. But yeah, man, his mechanics. Honestly, just watch the way he's going around the map here. Just look at the crosshair placement and how he's prepared for every gunfight. Pops the dash. Fuck this fucking wet ass agent and his fucking walls. He's not used to playing against Harbor though. Oh. God damn. Yeah, Harbor, I mean, I don't think anyone's used to playing against Harbor. Like, it's very, I think that's like a thing. When you play an off meta agent like that, it's, it's honestly very strong if you can get good at it. Just because people don't understand how to play against it. I was about to say. And he popped off. No, I I'm gonna switch it up here. All about not being predictable, just changing it up. Even if you don't even know what you're doing, just do some different shit. Just look at the way he's clearing those angles yeah, perfectly, one by one. Slowly scaling up with the team, and now it's ready. I'm gonna pop the dash here soon. Ooh. Gonna run straight through the cage here. No. He gets traded out. Brimmy can win this one. Bullshit. It's a high flash. It's actually very winnable for Brim. Got the ult and stuff. The Mole. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> I respect the try, but that was that was that was a little bit silly. From, uh, the Brimmy. Oh, the knives here. Hasn't used them yet. He's, he's using him way more for economy than some other players. This hyper wave is very annoying to play against, actually. Because you can't really push this now. And it lasts quite a while after the, um, the buff. Hyper does not play like a controller, man. He's just going to slowly take this dish control now. You can see, he takes the extra... Oh. That was annoying. He, do, he takes the extra time to clear those angles one by one, though. There and then he ops up there. I have my life. God damn it. It's pretty, pretty annoying to play against there. When I mean, you see the hybrid wave up like that, you don't expect the, the jet to play so far back. You, you expect a bit more aggression, but... That's why he gets punished. Oh yeah, map cover. Ooh. Okay, uh, after this round. Oh, don't get rid of the map, please. Honestly, one of the one of the major reasons I really want a replay system, other than obviously just having a replay system, is being able to watch some of these games just purely in the replay system would be so much nicer. Especially because a lot of the times pro players aren't streaming some of their best games, and to be able to see them it would be pretty nice. Looks like the Jets just gonna save the up here. Yeah, Jet is a lot stronger now after the chamber nerf stuff. A lot stronger, honestly. The Jet stonks have went up substantially. I can't say that word. He's just gonna slowly take some space around Dish. At least his killjoy noticed that um, he should not be going first. If you're if you're playing, oh, the cipher's going for a cheeky play. He just punishes him. If you're if you're playing entry fragger and then your teammates start going ahead of you, just calm like, hey, let me go first, let me go first. Damn, we're fucking that guy. I, yeah, that guy's not playing the game here. Comes the phoenix ult. He's got a cheeky little. Oh. I may flash off that alarm, but I think oh. my teammates broke that fucking harbor bubble, and I'm so sad. Climbing on the fucking the uh the harbor bubble going down there was nice. not it. He's not able to get much done in these last couple of rounds. His teammates, they're definitely yeah, finishing it. He's doing his job still. Completely. He's still like, yeah. this is the thing, you don't always have to pop off I every know, single round. As long as you, as a duelist, get the sight for your team and get them in a good position, that's all you need. Sometimes you're going to need more, sometimes you're going to need less, you know? Okay. Just know your role. Know what you need to do for your team. A lot of times you need to do a little bit more than you're supposed to in order to win. Sometimes you're going to need a lot more. 
you're getting some of these games, you know, and your teammates, like, they've got, if you add them all up and they still can't even catch your kills, you know, it's, those are tough games, but some of them are winnable, if you play it right. He's also good. See, Car he's a lot more of a reserve player, that's what, like, you can notice here. He's not, like, he's not like a Jing, you know what I mean? He's not just go, 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 every round. He uses his brain, he uses his mechanics. And then when it's time to go, he'll go. And punishes the Phoenix here. Nice. You can see when he's going though. He's not going before his teammates are ready. And he's getting the utility he needs. Like, you'll see so many of these jets. Oh, it's a big free shot. See so many of these jets just running and going and doing everything on their own. Their smokes aren't even down and their util isn't here. The fuck? He is getting fucked in the ass here. Dude, how does he know? It's headshot up. Oh, I'm sure. He definitely, he should have updrafted up the tower there instead of going up the rope. He wouldn't have took the extra damage as well. But they end up losing the round anyway. 4-4. Four, four. Ooh. Oh, he still got it. This Phoenix is silly for re-peaking. That's what I mean, like... I'm fucking fire behind the wall on my screen. Unlucky Phoenix, you shouldn't have repeaked, bro. I do think Cryo and Ye are the exact, like, definitions of why Crosshair- Oh, he's dropped. He dropped sight. <laughs> Just get shit off. This jet's going crazy. Yeah, they, those two players are the definition- God, this jet's going crazy. Oh, no. The definition of- why crosshair placement yeah. is so important in this game. Like, they get most of their kills from crosshair placement. But on top of it, their mechanics are just insane. Should be like, a hit 80 now. But the reason that they can get so good at crosshair placement is also yeah, due to like, himself. big brains, you know, big game sense. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Hyber completely switches it up there. It runs around. It was well played by him. Finally gonna run with the knives here. I think that's his first set of knives on this half. I actually disagree with that. I think he should have used them earlier and maybe dropped for a teammate. Oh, one more, one more. Nice. I think he should if you die and you can afford a gun, I'd still play knives. And I whiffs a little bit there. Get some low, he might be able to finish him off. Nice. Get himself an op. Yeah, I'm holding our right now. Could walk up on me. Bit of a scary position here with an up. They can kind of walk out on you in a very, you know, very annoying ways. I'll find anyone here. I'm the cross. Good comms though. When you're opping, it's all about letting your team know what you're watching. And it can be very hard because a lot of times when you're opping, you're very, very focused. I'm flashing me. Like, you are dead focused, so sometimes I remember when, nice, when I was playing in a team environment, like, a while back, it was so hard to try and calm while up. Wait, nice shot so far. Where's my credit? <laughs> I'm like it's, credit it's, right it now. can be so difficult, just like, because when you're opping, you're very, very into, like, what you are in, you know, you're thinking about different ways that they're going to peek, you're thinking about how wide you should hold it. There's a lot going on in your brain, so being able to also talk, it's it's definitely a skill, you know what I mean? We'll see how he plays this one now with this up. Posted, you want to walk up somebody. Good calm as well. You can see his teammates understand how to play when their duelist is now upper. They realize he's not going to just dash in anymore. He's He's playing a different role now. Which is why I think opping in low elo sometimes can be very annoying as a duelist. Because your teammates, like, you know, you just entry them for them for like five rounds and now they don't really understand. They're like, why isn't my jet going in anymore? But you kind of, you need one of your initiators maybe to go first then. They're just going to rotate back towards B here with the, um, the kill drill. There it is. Uh, no. It's going to op. You still can enter yeah, this up. You just have to play. Oh, 
Alright, you're good. Uh, he comes not to smoke Jen, but... Tom comes in a little bit too late for him. I flank us. I think he's going fast. One canteen in the smoke. See if he can get much done here. The enemy have Breach and Phoenix and Phoenix ult, so this is going to be tough. Yeah, you can see. They can go offside. Oh, great reposition, man. It was very, honestly, it was very smart. One canteen, still on site. Nice. nice man that was so that was so well done honestly the minima sheriff fellow like the enemy he noticed there was just too much util for him to do anything and he just backs up and actually goes around the corner instead a lot of people wouldn't have went around the corner i don't think i would have went around the corner but he backs all the way up he respects the enemy he lets his team know they can push you up right now we can't hold them i really hate this skin and then he just fucks him up I'd honestly throw the minimum sheriff. Or sheriff. Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I can't speak. <laughs> My boy Timmy is trying to trying to hit him up. Do a few games. It's gonna slowly scale here. Oh, that's frustrating. Nice, good flick. Just clicking on them now, one by one. Uh, it'll be Breach and Harbor there right now. Oh, hello, Mr. Phoenix. Okay. Nice. Harbor's Does not want the Harbor's rifle, just us, stays with the, um, the thing. I just realized my cam is in the wrong place this whole video. I'm sorry. I had a big cam. He could be... Watch tower when you plant. Watch tower. Oh, he's turned? Oh my god! Double turns both of Breach Flashes and hits the shot. What? You know how hard it is to turn a Breach Flash with an off? He won himself so out. Wow. Clean 4k, man. Clean 4k to end the half on 7 5. What was that, a 2v4? Starting off the second half. Going for the Ghost Buy again. Looks like he's going to play for this again. You see exactly what I was saying before on the attack. All about A main control on this map. But the enemy are just going to hit B. <laughs> Jet has a shorty in tower by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, he barely whiffed the shot. If he didn't buy armor. Oh, that got scary. I want the Oni shorty so bad, man. I'm gonna rock with the Marshall here. I've been I've been losing the Marshall a lot recently. It's gonna seal so strong. What the fuck was that? NT bro, NT. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I don't I don't know how it's bugged. That's the thing. I don't understand what he was saying. He was talking about the the tens bug with the Marshall. I think it only. It only happens if you have auto rescope on the um, martial bug right now. What the fuck? If you don't have auto rescope on, there's there's no bug. Which I do not have auto rescope on, because I use um hold hold to aim on snipers. I I think it's much more cleaner. It's yours. It's yours now. Reloading. They actually swap to the Spectre. Honestly, I don't usually swap to the Spectre. I prefer the um the Marshall on the bonus round. Like what about just getting one shots is just like so so good. When you're against the full bike, because you can just full upgrade. He just pushes up with the Spectre, finds the spike actually. Are you going to get flash again? Uh we could. Fuck it. I think you should. I think you should. Three, three, three. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> That would have been so good if he didn't walk into the flash. <laughs> On these bonus rounds, though, you see the the change in playstyle instantly. You go super aggressive. You need to you need to catch the enemies off guard. How many times I dodged the breach flash that one round when I was arcade and I held the B cross? Yeah, he's talking about it. It's so much easier to dodge flashes on a on hold. Yeah, exactly. He uses a hold as well. In really scope in fast. I think it's honest, it's near impossible to dodge it if you don't um have hold. You guys let me play 
Unless you're already double scoped, it's almost impossible. But he dodged both of them because he has a uh, hold on snipers. This Hyber's so weird to play against, man. Like, I honestly don't even know what to um, do against it. It didn't even do much, but still, though, you know what I mean? No one's used to playing against it, so it's just weird. He still feels like a brand new agent, even though he's been out. How long? Like, two months now? This is not personal preference. It's the B. Yeah, I swung too early. Yeah, I, I still, I, I remember everyone was like hyped about Sniper's hold for like a month and then everyone switched back and I don't know why they switched back. Nice. Stays out of the range of the Phoenix is stunning. He just stayed out of the range of the Phoenix um, Sheriff there. So he's able to just pick up. Oh my God, the Phoenix. <laughs> guy has lost his mind. He told him to to do the thing. I hope he means in game. Yeah, I I don't think it's I don't think it's preference. To be honest. I think hold is strictly better. There's, there's just, like if you get used to it, it's just better. The only problem is you might might get tired or something. You know what I mean? Pressing the button, but it's pressing a button, bro. Come on. <laughs> it's not that, it's not that tiring. On the retake now, though. I'm gonna have to use another smoke. Oh. Left side sight. He's not drop, he's not drop. Left side sight. At least he just went for it, though. Oh no. It's horrible. Look at this. It's so weird. Water boy. Oh, yeah, I should get no shit on there. I still think he played it right. He just should have, um,. I think he should have smoked on dish again and then held towards sight. But even then, he still could have just died. But when you're 1 HP like that and you're retaking, don't sit in the back. Please don't sit in the back. You eye the bait if you're 1 HP. Oh no. Joke's over. You're dead. Oh, no. That's sad. That is sad. I think he moved. Like, I think he was still moving when he shot. Stinger, man. <laughs> His gun. Something. No, but my, my argument is not over uh, hitting shots or not. This team can win this. Yeah, kills real. Stay up, Rachel. Find me, find me. I uh, I honestly will be fucking shocked if they don't nerf the stinger in the next patch. The gun was seeing like a bunch of play in uh in pro play, and then they buffed the gun. <laughs> Sometimes Riot don't make any sense. He has the knives here anyway, just gonna push dish again. I can dish a lot this half, by the way. Or gets spotted on the knife there. They're actually still pushing too. Just gets a free kill. Up the dash. Oh, come on, give me a few more. Oh! Is it ace? What the fuck? Was it with a knife ace, man? That was looking perfect. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Just has to go left and right against them, just kill them. When they all line up like that with knives, it's so good. It's so good. Oh. Goes from an ace to an int. Unfortunate. Yo, Phantom Gaming. Lurking, lurking Boys are popping off with Phantom. Down. I'm telling you, man. One of these days, damage. I'll be able to main the Phantom for more than like two days. If that day happens, I'll be a happy man. I don't think it's happening, though. Every time I try and main the Phantom, I end up going back to the Vandal. Hopping again on this same angle. Oopsie. Misclick on the updraft, I think. I can stun him. He's just gonna slowly try and post up on this angle. The game is looking a lot better right now, man. Like, Jet can't just sit in an off angle for 12 and a half years with an op. Chamber's getting nerfed, you know. The only weird thing was this Killjoy buff, which kind of makes her broken on this map. 
Yeah, they have to go back out. But other than that, I think the, the game's in a pretty healthy spot. I'm pretty happy with it. Except for the random race nerf. I'm gonna blame that on myself. They clearly were in their phrase just because uh because of me. No other reason. Yokes. It's gonna be a weird execute here, see what you can Ooh. Um he should when you get flashed like that, you should smoke the ground. It should be like your first reaction if you don't dash. This team pick it up anyway. Great fucking game though, man. How much kills? 26 kills. That's what I mean, man. You can learn so much from watching players like Cryo and Yeah. I think the, they are like definitely the two best Fuck. players to watch if they're streaming. And there's also some other great ones, but like those, especially for NA, those are the Fuck. the two. Rank seven, man. One thousand fifty three or or. But yeah, anyway, boys. Thanks for watching. Like, sub, all that stuff. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch. Message me for Discord on. Uh, message me. On Discord for coaching. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. But uh, yeah, I'll see you later.